2011 Dodge Durango transmission cooler slash AC condenser replacement. I'm Brian Essen from Housey Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through replacing that. Okay, the first step we're gonna do is remove the Freon from the car. And um, if you don't have access to a, a, a ability to remove the Freon, take it down to a shop and have it done. Don't, don't vent this in. So after removing the Freon, you're gonna put your finger underneath the panel right here next to the hood latch. And you're gonna pop it up. And you're gonna pop it up here, all the way across the grill. You want the grill to flare back like this. Then you're gonna pop the panels on the left and the right side. There's two the panels here. You're gonna pop these up here. So you're gonna take, um, they're all just kind of got these push pins in. So you're just gonna use a little pry tool and put them underneath and pop them up and lift this, these two panels off. Also, we'll need to pop off the uh, weather stripping. So you use a, a tool like this and kind of put it under these little clips and pop them up. And so you're gonna peel the weather stripping off too. And you're gonna get everything peeled back as far as you can. If, you, if you're not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it where it's pretty loose like this and I'll kind of use a tie strap and kind of just hold it out of my way instead of taking every single clip out. Because um, a lot of times these clips break and uh, so the less I have to take out, the better. So as you can see, I kind of just use my little bungee cord here and kind of just held it up. And now we've got this, it's all flared back. What we're gonna do is you're gonna remove the coolant reservoir bottle, the little bolt here. Then you're gonna remove the tin here, the tin here, and the tin here. And also you're gonna flare this, uh, the grill back a little bit and the wiring harness right here. You're gonna pop those out of the, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna pop these out. And then on the driver's side, the, the line to hold, uh, for the high side AC line, you're gonna remove the tin here. Remove the uh, the bolt that held the, the washer bottle here off, and then you can remove the tin here, the tin here, and then also there's gonna be another tin here. Now that you got the the tins out on the on the side here, the one out here, the electrical connector popped off. Um, there's gonna be right here a 13 millimeter bolt here and a 13 millimeter bolt there. So now that I got the, the bolts that were here, I was able to just lift the, uh, the core support straight up. Now you can go ahead and disconnect your electrical connector for the, uh, for the hood latch here. And then you unplug your horns here on left to right. And then we're gonna leave the cable and everything hooked up. And we're just gonna set this over here on, on top of the air cleaner. If you need to put a fender cover down or whatever so you don't wanna scratch it up, whatever, go ahead and do that. So now that you got the uh, core support kind of just tucked out of the way, um, you got this rubber skirt here on top of the radiator. Uh, it's held on with a couple of screws here and then along the edge of the uh, fan trail. So go ahead and remove those and then you can remove this skirt. So now below is the uh, power steering cooler. We need to get that off the condenser. Um, and the way I did that was I, I, since I'm replacing the condenser, I went ahead and put a little pry bar and so I pried on it and this little plastic ring that was on the, it came off and the transmission or the power steering cooler is just hanging, laying down there. Now what we need to do is on the passenger side, right underneath the radiator um, spout here, there's going to be, uh, let's see if I can get back here, two little lines going in, which are the lines from the transmission. The transmission cooler is built into the uh, AC condenser. So you're gonna pop, and to get to those hoses easier, those is if you put your thumb on it. So if you follow the radiator in, and you put your thumb right here, you can flare this up a little bit, and then at the same time, as you flare it up, you pull the condenser out, and now you can push the radiator in, and now you can get to these. So you can pop these clips off, and then you can get to those little clips that are underneath it. So as you can see, I popped those off, and if you look, you can see the little little metal clips right there you need to pick those out with a pick and be careful not to lose them so now that you got the little clips out like this set those aside and you can just pull the line straight out so just like this had a squeeze tab here where you flipped it up and pushed it pop the condenser free same thing on on the uh, passenger side or the driver side it's got it but the clip is a little different it's a little you push it right there 
and then that'll pop out the uh, little ear. Now the condenser is kind of loose and ready to come out. We just have to remove these two AC lines. And I think the best way to do that is uh, I'm gonna rack it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the, on the driver's side here, I'm gonna remove the 10 bolt here. And go ahead and remove the lower shield. So you'll follow the, the bolts you know, every couple in, couple inches or so around the perimeter of it. It has a, some bolts that hold the shield on. Go ahead and remove those and lower the lower. So after getting the lower shield off, if you look at the radiator fan, to the left side of it, you can see the lines. So you can get a wrench from, from over here and take the, uh, take the nut off and uh, remove the two lines. So once you crack it free of a wrench, um, you should be able to just spin the bolts off by, by hand. Unless you live in the rust belt somewhere and then you, then you may have to use like a ratcheting wrench and get the bolts off, the nut off, I'm sorry. So now that I got the line up, I just took the condenser and lifted it straight up. Didn't give me any problems at all. And if you look at it here, I got it here on the ground. It's half of it is transmission cooler and the other half is AC condenser. It's kind of like a two in one thing. I guess a, a safe uh, room saver, I guess, is what I do it. So, so basically, every other coil is one is for AC and one is for, um, for transmission cooler. And the reason why we're doing this one is it was leaking uh, transmission fluid. So I'm taking a closer look at the, um, the power steering cooler. Out, you know, and um, now I see how it works. Is now that it, if you squeeze here and here underneath, then this whole clip came off. And then, uh, then so what we need to do is, uh, all I'm going to do is transfer this over. So when you're doing, if you're doing your job, if you just take this clip here and squeeze it like that then you should be able to pop the uh, the transmission cooler off your uh, condenser without without doing like I did with the pry bar and taking that off so now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassemble this onto my new uh, new condenser so that when I when I go back together all I do is take this and just kind of push it back on and snap it in place so I'm gonna prep my new um, condenser by removing the bolt here for the um, and the plugs here for the AC remove the plastic low caps and then we need to reinstall this little clip the so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a tape measure and I'm going to measure a hole that they have to poke through so I'm going to measure vertically and inside and then duplicate the same thing on here and then poke it poke it through the condenser, the new one, and then put the little plastic nut on the back. And that'll hold it in there. And then when we go to put the uh, the power steering cooler on, it'll just literally line up with the tabs and just push in and lock it in place. So after measuring and poking our, our little clips through and securing them on the back, they just have those little those little things that just press on there and snap into place. So they're locked into place. Now I'm gonna lower the, um, the condenser back into the uh, housing. Before we put the condenser back into place, you want to make sure you change the seals and gaskets on your AC hoses here. After that, we're going to lower it back into place. We'll make sure the uh, tabs are all facing the right way, like this. And like I said, I just measure those and put, put them through. So now I'm going to lower it down into, into place. And you may have to have somebody help you kind of lift the... Uh, uh, I'll probably do it by myself without, without filming it, but uh, just pull the, uh, the grill panel out of your way. And also, when you go to lower this in here, let me get the camera down here. We're going to sit on top of those little perches here on the left, and the little perch here on the right. But the uh, condenser will just sit on, on the bottom. Okay, once you drop the condenser into place, you can go ahead and line up the tabs where it lines up and snap it into place. So you want to make, make sure it's sitting on the little perch in the bottom and you can go ahead and push them on in the corners here where they lock into place. So if you did your measurements right, now you, now you can go ahead and slip on your cooler over the uh, little, little catches. And once you slip them over, you can kind of push them in until they lock into place. So when you're done, they'll, they'll be lost. So my new condenser already has these clips already in there. 
uh, the new one does, and yours probably will too. They, they come with it, so now all you need to do is actually, what you're gonna do is with one hand, you're gonna support the radiator and the, and the condenser, and you're gonna line up your, your, your hoses like this in the slots, and you're just gonna push until they snap into place, and then you're gonna tug on them to make sure that they don't pop back off the little little clips catch. So what I ended up doing to get the lines on is I ended up popping it back free from the radiator and flaring the radiator out. And I went ahead and just took these little uh, clips, the new uh, clips that were in there. It, it just wouldn't go in, it wouldn't go in for me. So what I did is I took the clips back out, put the lines on and then put the clips back on. And now that, now that I've done that, you also want to double check and really pull on the lines and make sure that uh, they're not gonna pop back out. And what you're happy with that, then you can go ahead and put on the little white caps and snap them back on and uh, those are the little safety caps and then after that we're going to lift the vehicle back up and we're going to put the AC lines back on and tighten it. Also don't forget to re-snap the uh, condenser to the radiator. Now that you got new uh, new uh, O-rings for your AC line you can go ahead and just slip it on over the little and start your bolt there. Now that your AC line is bolted back up and snug, go ahead and reinstall your lower shield. So now, after getting the lower shield down and the lower AC line bolted back up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the uh, core support back in. So I got my core support in, and, um, and I was just about to start the bolts, and I noticed I had left off the uh, little cover. But um, the good thing is, is you can you can put it in from up top like this. You can kind of, if you forget it, you can feed it in over the top and then start your screws here and over here. So now that you got the core support in and all your bolts started, I had to wiggle the radiator back and forth a little bit to get everything to drop into place. I had to pry the bottles back on the left and right side. So once you got all that um, in there and you got all your bolts started and you peel it back and you got your wire looms all snapped back into place now you can go ahead and start uh, i start with the two top bolts tighten those down and then i tighten the uh the bottle bolts so i tighten all the top vertical bolts and then the top the side bolts then i flare it back and then i just start from one end and i tighten the bolts and just work my leg away from the left to right or right to left whatever way you want to do it but so then i just make sure i got them all tightened up and then uh, after that, then I'm just gonna lower my, uh, my covers down and re reinstall my weather stripping and all that stuff on top. Now you can line up your little clips for your grill and put them into place. And snap the grill in place and go ahead and put your, uh, like I said, your, your covers that you took off and put the clips back on. Then after that, what you're gonna need to do is uh, charge your AC to the proper level. So after charging your AC, the last step is to uh, check the transmission fluid and top it off. But the uh, on these cars, they don't come with a dipstick, so you have to have a tool. And uh, it's basically just a universal dipstick that's made for checking the, uh, the transmission fluid. So you have to order that. But um, you'll check it with the engine running at normal operating temperatures and um, shift it through all the gears. And you're probably, if you're just doing a condenser, you're probably only going to lose a couple ounces. Like my, in, in my case, the transmission was actually leaking, so I may be upwards to a quarter or so of uh, how much transmission fluid I need to add. But after you uh, uh, check your transmission fluid, that will complete the job of replacing the AC condenser slash transmission cooler on a 2011 Dodge Durango. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for my, watching my videos and encourage you to subscribe. Thank you again.